George Sanger has been doing video game music for over a decade now. He's got to be one of my favorite personalities in the entire industry. A little bit too serious, but ladies and gentlemen, brace yourself for the fat. Well, I'm here today visiting George, the Fat Man Sanger, here in Austin, Texas. And here he is now! Hey, Tommy, how you doing? How's it going? Yeah, I hope you had a good ride over here, man. Yeah, your driver took real yeah, good care yeah. of me. He's, he's a good fella. He is, he is a good Jim fella. Bob. So, hey, I want to find out all about your studio. You know, I'm all about equipment. The heart of the system is the Holy Grailic Interactivator. Now, this makes the difference between linear music and interactive music. It can turn actually from linear to compelling. It's got a killer app knob also that goes killer from uh, MIDI, but this is actually spelled M1V1, I think they made a mistake there, to 5.2. The compatibility, which really solves the fact that PCs kind of break sometimes. Right. This goes from PC, but you can turn it all the way up to where it will only break as often as your toaster. My compressors have compression, uh, but they also have throttle brakes and horsepower. The company that custom makes my equipment for me is called Funk Logic, and I don't know where I'd be without them. The one thing that really sets these apart from other pieces of equipment, they're quiet. Now, if you ever open up your boy's life and see an ad for electric guitar and amp for $12.95, I want you to know that's what you get. <laughs> Where's the amp? Oh, it's a little shoebox thing. I think it decayed. My daughter painted this. So if any of you guys are six years old, you are you're old enough to paint your daddy's guitar. This belonged to Tennessee Ernie Ford, but there really isn't much to say about it. That's a 64-something. Uh, this one goes up to 11. Now, Tommy, I know your wall's big. This is all the games that you've worked on, done the music for. Don't touch that. I, whoa. Okay. I, uh, In fact, I think you need to take my hat off. Oh, right, you sorry. hold it like that respectfully. Seventh Guest, Wing Commander, NASCAR Racing, yeah. 11th Hour, which 11th was the follow-up to Seventh Guest. That's now, right. let's talk about Seventh Guest was the very first General MIDI game. Ex explain what General MIDI is for everyone. Well, the first thing to crash a computer is your sound card. Okay. And one of the things that makes it crash is all those different kinds of sound cards. One of the things that made it really hard for us as game composers, as you know, back in the early 20s, that before the turn of the century, right. was that we had to write a different version of the music for every single sound card. Sucked. I was complaining about that to my friends at Roland, and they said, well, George, why don't you just write for this new sound card uh, sound canvas? It's sound General canvas. MIDI. Yeah. I said, well, okay, General MIDI, I'll do that. I see an Intellivision game up there. What, what was the very first video game you worked on? Well, that was it, Toby. That was the, that was the first ice. game. Thin right ice. there. Let me ask you this. How did you get the name Fat Man? Tommy, to, to tell you the truth, I wanted to be called the Fast Man. Uh huh. And I sent out for my business cards, and I was kind of broke, and it came back to the Fat Man. It was a typo. Really? And it's so like, well, go with it. Can't afford to redo these. Visit our website at www.electplay.com.